Now, I want to point this out. When you're a good looking guy, it does get the door open, but it doesn't guarantee anything beyond that. If you're not grounded, solid and connected to your body, then they can turn off on you just as fast as they turn it on. So in this video, I want to talk about why good looking men struggle with women. And the first thing that comes to mind for me when I think about this is a guy I worked with, God, it had to be back in about 2010, somewhere in that range. And he was one of the best looking clients I'd ever seen. This guy that comes in, he's like 6'4", chiseled jaw, really masculine, deep voice, really present. And he had a lot of problems with women. He had a lot of problems meeting women and keeping women attracted to him. And I really took a deep look at what was going on with him at the time. Um, Cause I was really curious. I mean, when he told me this, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. You know, just your presence alone. Cause he didn't just have the looks, he had the presence to go with it. And I said, just your presence alone should be drawing women over. So we went out to a bar that night and I said, I just wanna see you talk to some girls. I wanna see what's going on. He walked over to this woman and he talked to her for a few minutes and then he walked away and came back. And I saw her looking over in an awkward way. And I asked him, I said, so what happened there? And he said, yeah, she doesn't like me. And I said, what do you mean? And uh, he said, well, I started flirting with her, talking to her, joking with her a little bit. And then she looked at me and said, De dead in my eye. And she looked at me and said, I think you're a player and I'm not gonna sleep with you. And so I walked away. And so that goes right to the first reason why good looking men struggle with women. They don't get it. They literally don't understand the land of women. He literally walked away from a woman that was flirting with him. I could tell by the way she responded. He didn't bring up sex. He didn't bring up anything to do with sex, sexuality. He was just talking to her and joking with her. She looks him right in the eye, steps into the tension with him, which we talk about a lot in this channel, and says, I think you're a player. I'm not gonna sleep with you. So who brought up sex first? Who's already thinking about sex? Who's already talking about sex? Who's initiating the conversation, intention leaning into him? Her. She was flirting with him. She was initiating the idea and seeing what he would do. Because he was too dense to get it, he walked away. He didn't understand how women speak a lot in subcommunication. So I want to I want to present to you this idea that maybe you're just not understanding women. Because literally he walked away from something that all he had to do was flirt with and get to know her a little better and see where she took it. Because he's such a good looking grounded guy, if he just would have relaxed and done very little, she probably would have moved that interaction forward. The other reason good looking men struggle with women is because they're not present. Now in this case, this guy was really present. He was in his body, he was a very grounded masculine guy. He was just kind of clueless. But the other reason is that a lot of good looking guys are nervous anxious. They subtly reject and tell women no because they're terrified inside of women. Maybe they had bad experiences when they were a child with women. Maybe they grew up in a household with a lot of uh, uh, emotional disconnection and abandonment. So they get around an attractive girl and immediately their subcommunication goes bad. They start pulling up into their head. They start speaking from their head analytically. Girls can't feel them. They can't get into their turn on. They look at girls awkwardly out of the corner of their eye. They, 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 they sit there and they pull up, pull out of their heart, pull out of their chest and say, hi, my name is uh, Brian, how are you? Do uh, you having a good night? And they talk in this awkward tone. And girls automatically think, and I've had many women say this to me, God, he was so good looking if he just hadn't opened his mouth. Because the number one thing for them is presence. If you're good looking, that's great. But what they really need from you is to be in your body, present and feeling connected. To, to feel your turn on and to look at them and enjoy them. Beauty needs a witness. Like you need to be able to look at them and enjoy them. You need to be able to play with them and dance with them. You need to learn all the same dating skills as the average guy. The difference is, is if you're really good looking, you may not have to do as much because sometimes less is more for really good looking guys. See, when you get really grounded and in your body, just relax, enjoy them, tease them just a little bit, play with them because your looks create half the tension. And if you can stay solid, tease, and move things forward gently, you'll be surprised at what you can get away with. If you're not a male model, I'm not a male model by any means, then you might have to do a little bit more, increase your presence a little bit more. But to me, that's a plus. 
That's a huge bonus. Why? Because I really get to work on who I'm being under the surface much more to be just as attractive as that male model. You see, it doesn't really matter if you're a male model, you're average looking, you're super short like some of my clients. Whatever it is, if you have the presence, you have the turn on, you have the balls, you have the heart, you have the confidence, you're not afraid of girls, you stop telling them no with your subcommunication, they're gonna come for you. They're gonna show up. They're gonna be interested. See, looks only gets the door open. And if you don't have the rest, the door closes really fast. So I'm gonna encourage you guys, especially you good looking guys that are having trouble, to go out and get some help to learn what it is to be present, get more embodied, watch more of our videos on this channel. You know, we have lots of videos on grounding, uh, relaxing into your body, enjoying women, being present with them. And that's what you need to start doing. Start working on that and just learn to listen and be present with women. Because in reality, if you're good looking, that's all it really is. And some level you're telling them no. We say that all the time. How are you pushing women away and just stop? So I had a friend once I used to spend, uh, hang out with. He was a super good looking guy. He lived in Las Vegas. And I would go hang out with him and I'd never seen a man that actually gets more positive responses from women or women hitting on him than him. I would hang out with him and it was amazing how many women would suddenly start hanging around us, start getting close to us. I remember taking him over to my cousin's house who lives in Vegas once. And after he left, my cousin looked at me and said, oh my God, who is that? That man is gorgeous. And so I thought it was interesting because I knew he was a good looking guy, but I didn't see him at that degree. I'm a guy, so I don't see it to the degree they did. So he obviously was radiating something. Now here was the interesting thing. He had a little bit of anxiety. He would get nervous. When a girl started moving towards him, he would kind of pull back and, and you could see that he didn't know always what to do. Now, the interesting thing was he was, he was good with women. You know, he, he did all right. He did pretty darn good but he had to battle through his own anxiety a lot. So what I found was when I hung out with him, it was really interesting because I remember taking him out one night to an event and this beautiful girl immediately started hanging out around him and started flirting with him. And I remember watching her and I remember I saw him kind of pushing her away and not sure, not sure what to do. And the interesting thing was me, I'm not nearly, not even remotely as good looking as him, but when I went over there and started talking to her and flirting with her, it took me all of five minutes and she started moving her attention over to me. Now, that may sound like an asshole thing to do, uh, but I didn't really do it on purpose. It just kind of happened. And the next thing you know, she's flirting with me and she's kind of forgotten about him. And she's giving me her phone number. Now, I want to point this out. When you're a good looking guy, it does get the door open but it doesn't guarantee anything beyond that. If you're not grounded, solid, and connected to your body, then they can turn off on you just as fast as they turned on. Get into your body, get solid, whether you're good looking, whether you're not, whether you're short, it doesn't matter. Be a solid, present, grounded man, and it will change your life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear your comments on this. What's your experience? Are you one of those good looking men that's having trouble? What kind of trouble you're having? Maybe we can create some videos off of your specific experience. Please put some comments below and let us know. If you have a friend that's good looking and you watched how he relates to women and what he does, also put the comments below. We'd love to hear about that too. And with that said, remember to like the video if you liked it. Your likes really help us to grow the channel, put out more content. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit that notifications button so you get our videos in your feed. Now with that said, remember only the confident really live. See you in the next video.